again, friends. Tim Clack alongside Ed Bellner here. Ed, so great to be back with you. Our fifth season together. And this is an intriguing matchup, a rematch of sorts from 2019 when St. Francis won in dramatic fashion. Their starting quarterback tonight, Denim Truss, he was the starter in that game in 2019, but he had it all taken away from him. He was injured in that game. And this is his first start since 2019. Yeah, he was injured in that game and Kaiser came in and took over this team for the last few years. So there's a lot of new, a lot of differences. So yes, a rematch that, you know, Clyde's hoping to revenge that loss and an otherwise great season they had that year. And they are looking forward to come away with a win here tonight. We get to see the first showing of a Bruce Gradkowski coach team. And so it'll be interesting to see what St. Francis brings on the field. St. Francis will receive the opening kick here. Both teams on the field ever before the clock expires. They're chomping at the bit to get this new season that, by the way, has a non-conference schedule this year. That's going to be one of the big things for both these two teams before they dive into their respected conferences for St. Francis. The track for the Clyde Flyers, the SBC River Division. An empty backfield here. Now setting a running back up and back in after that fumbles Coleman. They'll put Neary in motion. Here's the play fake. Little slant across the middle. Caught by Trey Talbot. Stumbling ahead to the 20. And that middle of the field, Ed, was all wide open. They were packing that box, trying to anticipate the run. And they were able to fool the Flyers. Knopf's last year, 30 receptions for 586 yards. As there goes Lozier in motion. Under a minute and a half to go. Pocket collapsing. And there on the sack breaking through is Tim Zale from his linebacking position. Second and 20. With under a minute to go here. And they will move the receiver. That is Olsen here on the near side. Move him a little bit closer. They pull it out. Here's Cook putting it up for grabs and coming down with the catch. Dropping it right in the bucket. Brady Wilson with a 44-yard reception and laying out. Well, you ask sometimes why you only send one receiver deep. And that's why, because Wilson got separation. That's the biggest play here so far. Give, right tackle, Daniels breaking through. Touchdown, Clyde. This drive started from their own 16. They were starting to move it very nicely. Let's see how they respond here after the penalty. Coming here second and 15. They'll have trips here on the bottom near side of the screen for Truss. Truss has all kinds of time, lets it go. This is intercepted, intercepted right at midfield. They will not take this one away. And terrific coverage with the interception for William Lozier. Again, you talk about swagger. You talk about just having that unified confidence. And that's what they had. And it carried them all the way through to a state title. Knocking off the number one seed Keystone and then upsetting Shelby in route to a state championship. All kinds of time for Cook. He's going to turn into a runner. Has daylight in front of him to the 40. Makes a move to the 30. One man to beat, and he's caught from behind. A good-looking, patient run. Went through all of his progressions. None of them were there. Tucked the football away, made the best decision. Just one touchdown on the board so far, and that was the difference maker in the first quarter. A 67-yard drive that went on eight plays. Looking for another lengthy drive here that... Hopefully, if you're the Clyde Flyers, we'll eat up the duration of this 4.45 to go in the opening first half of play. Cook has looked so poised so far. Throws up a rainbow. Bringing it down is Wilson. And he will come up and show the referees the football. Just terrific touch put on the ball by Jaden Cook. From the 41, second play of the drive to pump fake. Trust going to try and run it. Steps over a defender, lowers his head, and he will have enough on the gain of 13. How about the moves for Denim Truss? Last year, Clyde averaged 346 yards per game through the air in the belly of Daniels, and he is swarmed and dropped immediately, shaking his head right away. 
Jobin Toyer. Toyer's really. Third and 19. Cook sends it downfield and it's intercepted in the hands of Josh Neary. Neary slipping free. And that's the shot in the arm. This defense needed and they get it with the defense in the interception. Third and 10. Trips formation. There goes Trey Talbu. It's been a while since we've heard his name. See if Trust looks his way. He does eyeing him all the way. And this will go for six. A beautiful ball placed down the chute to senior Trey Talbu. And the Knights are on the board. Play clock under five. They will get it off in time. A very fast snap. Pocket collapsing. They get their hands on him. Cook rips free and away. The Knights have been resilient. Third and three at the 10-yard line. They have Toyer in as a blocker here to try and pave the way. Quarterback keeper, Trust has a lane, absorbs the contact, breaking the end zone, and the senior quarterback, Denim Trust, scores from 10 yards out. A big spot coming up in this football game for both sides. Inside the glass bowl, Tim Clagg alongside Ed Belner. Crowd getting loud on both sides here with 7.04 remaining. Daniels, the running back, he has gotten every carry so far, and they will give it to him again. Doesn't see the hit and the blow coming, and Brian King is there for the Knights. They trailed 14 to nothing at the end of the first half. Had a score in the third quarter to get him back within one. It was a five-play, 77-yard drive. Then they were able to respond yet again. Denham trusts a 10-yard rushing touchdown slant over the middle, completed the 30-yard line to Trey Talbu. This is his opportunity that he has been waiting for to lead the Knights. Dropping back, fires, and it's complete. Right at the markers, first and 10 now, just shy of midfield here with over four and a half minutes to go. A good-looking drive here late in the ballgame for St. Francis. Trust gaining confidence. It's complete inside the red zone. Trey Talbu down the chimney. Perfect placement by Denim. Trust again. Talbu is back at the bottom of your screen after sitting out of play. Second and ten. Dropping back, looking Talbu's way. And it's caught right on the money. Touchdown, St. Francis. Third and 19 from the 27, across the middle, wide open, complete to the tight end. Michael Parrish giving the Knights the lead. They had one called back. This one will stand. Knights on top for the first time tonight. Need to get to the 30 to extend the drive with 151. They fake it, pressure coming, and a sack. And that will result in a turnover on downs. Biggest defensive play made by... Brian King, the Knights battle back to earn the 21-14 victory inside the glass bowl over the Clyde Flyers. Victory number one, Bruce Gradkowski, one for one in his high school coaching career.